Hey everyone, welcome back, and today we're diving deep into Rust Desk. If you've been searching for a remote desktop software that's both easy to use and free, you've come to the right place. Rust Desk is a hidden gem when it comes to remote desktop tools, and today, I'm going to walk you through everything from what it is to how to download and install it, and of course, show you some of its cool features. So grab a seat, and let's get into it. So, what exactly is Rust Desk? Well, for those of you who might not have heard of it before, Rust Desk is an open source remote desktop software. And the great thing about open source software is that it's free to use, plus the community is always improving it. Rust Desk lets you remotely access and control another computer from wherever you are. It's ideal for a bunch of different scenarios, Maybe you need to help a family member troubleshoot their PC, access your work computer from home, or even manage multiple devices remotely. Unlike other remote desktop tools like TeamViewer or AnyDesk, Rust Desk comes with no hidden fees. It's not one of those free for personal use, but pay for business kind of deals. It's free for everyone. On top of that, it's cross-platform which means it doesn't matter if you're on Windows, Mac, Linux, or even a mobile device like Android or iOS, Rust Desk has you covered. Rust Desk has something for you. Now, what makes Rust Desk stand out from the rest? Well, one of the big advantages is that Rust Desk works as both a client and a server. That's right, you don't have to rely on third-party servers, meaning you have total control over your connections. Privacy is something a lot of us are concerned about these days, and having the ability to host your own server with Rust Desk is a game changer. If you're someone who values data security or just likes to have more control over your remote desktop experience, this is a massive plus. So with Rust Desk, you're not only getting a tool that's flexible, but one that gives you the freedom to manage your connections the way you want. To get started with Rust Desk, the first thing you'll want to do is download the software. The process is super simple, and I'm going to walk you through it step by step. Head over to their official website, rustdesk.com. You'll notice right away that their website is straightforward. No bells and whistles, just what you need to get going. On the homepage, there's a button that says Get Started. Go ahead and click that and it'll take you to the download page. Depending on what operating system you're using, you'll see different download options, Windows, macOS, Linux, and even mobile platforms. If you're on Windows, like I am right now, just click on the Windows download link. Mac users, you know the drill, just click on the macOS version. And don't worry, even if you're on Linux or planning to use it on your mobile device, there are download options for those as well. Once you click to download, the file will start downloading automatically. Depending on your browser, you might get a pop-up warning you about downloading executable files. Don't freak out if this happens, it's normal for files that install programs on your computer. Just click keep or allow, and the download will complete in no time. I know sometimes people hesitate when they see these warnings. But since Rust Desk is open source and has a strong community backing, it's trustworthy. Alright, so now you've downloaded Rust Desk. What's next? Let's get it installed. Open the file that you just downloaded. You might see a user account control pop up asking for permission to run the file. This is pretty standard for any program you install on Windows. Just click yes to continue. The installer itself is incredibly simple. You'll see a few prompts asking where you want to install the program and whether you agree to the terms and conditions. Once you've clicked through those, the installation will start, and within a minute or two, you'll be ready to launch Rust Desk. Now that we've got it installed, let's open it up and take a look at the interface. When you first open Rust Desk, you'll notice right away that it's pretty straightforward. And if you've used remote desktop tools before, it'll feel very familiar. Right at the top of the window, you'll see your unique ID and a one-time password. 
These two pieces of information are key to how Rust Desk works. If you're planning on connecting to someone else's computer, they'll need to share their ID and password with you. And if you're the one providing support, you'll enter their ID and password to connect to their machine. It's a pretty simple process. Let's say you need to connect to a friend's computer to help them out. They would send you their ID and password. You'd take that information, enter it into the Rust Desk app, and click. Connect. Boom. You're in. You can see their screen, control their mouse, and help them out with whatever problem they're having. It works the same if someone needs to connect to your machine. Just give them your ID and password, and they can hop right in. One of the cool features that sets Rust Desk apart is the ability to transfer files between computers. This is super handy if you're working remotely and need to share files quickly between devices. Maybe you're on your home PC but need a file from your work computer, or perhaps you're helping someone who needs a specific document. With Rust Desk, you can drag and drop files directly into the remote session, or use the file transfer option in the menu. This is a game changer, and it makes Rust Desk incredibly useful for a wide variety of tasks beyond just remote control. While we're on the topic of features, let's talk about a few others that make Rust Desk a fantastic tool. First off, because Rust Desk is cross-platform, you're not tied to a single operating system. Whether you're working on Windows at the office and need to access your Mac at home, or you're out and about with just your smartphone and need to connect to your desktop, Rust Desk makes it all possible. The mobile app is surprisingly powerful too. Another standout feature of Rust Desk is the option to self-host. This is huge for people who want full control over their connections. You can actually host your own server, which means you're not relying on Rust Desk servers or any third-party service to make the connection. Everything is managed by you, which offers enhanced security and privacy. For those of you who are concerned about data privacy or who work in industries where security is paramount, this feature is an absolute must-have. Setting up a self-hosted server might sound complicated, but Rust Desk has made the process as straightforward as possible. Their documentation walks you through the steps, and there's a supportive community that can help out if you get stuck. Now, you might be wondering how Rust Desk compares to other remote desktop solutions. After all, there are plenty of options out there, right? Let's take a quick look. One of the most popular remote desktop programs is TeamViewer, and while it's a great tool, it's not free for commercial use. If you're using it for business, you'll quickly hit their paywall. Any desk is another option, but again, it comes with a mix of free and paid tiers. Chrome Remote Desktop is another alternative, but it lacks the robust features that Rust Desk provides, especially when it comes to things like file transfers or hosting your own server. In short, if you're looking for a free, Feature-rich alternative to the big names, Rust Desk is hands down one of the best choices available. Plus, being open source, the community-driven nature of the project means that it's constantly improving based on user feedback. Like with any software though, there can be a few hiccups along the way, but don't worry, I've got you covered. One issue you might run into is difficulty connecting to another machine. If that happens, double-check that the other person's ID and password were entered correctly. Internet connection quality also plays a huge role in remote desktop performance. So if you notice any lag or connection drops, it might be due to a weak connection on either end. Another common issue could be related to firewalls or antivirus software blocking Rust Desk. If you're having trouble, you might need to adjust your firewall settings or temporarily disable your antivirus software to see if that solves the problem. And of course, the Rust Desk community is an excellent resource if you run into any snags. Speaking of which, there's a growing Rust Desk community on platforms like GitHub and Discord. If you have any technical questions or need help troubleshooting, you can hop into these spaces and get advice from other users and developers. 
It's a great way to learn more about the software and stay up to date with the latest updates and features. I just want to emphasize how versatile and powerful Rust Desk is. Whether you're a business owner needing to manage several devices, a freelancer who works remotely, or just someone who wants to help friends and family with tech issues, Rust Desk has you covered. It's free, it's open source, and it's packed with features that make remote desktop work incredibly easy and efficient. And don't forget about the self-hosting option. It's a major advantage if you want to take full control of your connections and ensure the highest level of privacy.